What's up? So we're going to do uh, the first two C++ hacker rank problems. Um, maybe I'll upload more uh, later on. Uh, so this first problem is just a print statement. Uh, so you can see it gives us a way that works uh, just using printf. Uh, another way you can do this is just with uh, the C out. Um, but I like the printf more uh, and I'll, I'll show you why. So we can look at the C++ reference here uh, for printf. And so uh, basically what it's going to let you do is embed variables into your strings, which if it's just one thing you're printing out, it's like not that helpful. But as you get more, uh, like here we've got two numbers you're printing out. Uh, here we've got, I don't know what that is, like five. It becomes a lot more easier uh, just to read. Um, so the, the two really important flags to remember are the i flag here for an integer uh, and the s flag here for a string. So how we're going to use this is we're going to say string hello, I would just say message is equal to, we'll grab this here. And so what we can do here then is percent s and that's going to then it's going to mean we're going to pass a string, and then I'll just do backslash n, which does a new line. And I like that just because it makes it easier to read. Um, and then what we're going to do is we have to do message dot c string. Uh, so if this was an integer, you would, you could just type in the variable name, uh, but because this is expecting a, a constant character array, and the string here is the C plus plus string class, we gotta you gotta remember to do the dot c string. Um, you can see we can run this now. Cool. So, let's see, he's going to let us go to the next one. All right, cool. So let's go to question two. I will just reset this real quick. Uh, so, what this is doing, you guys can pause and read this if you're interested. But basically, what this is doing is it's saying let's just read the first three numbers uh, that are put into STDIN. Uh, and then sum them up, you can see here. So it gives us these libraries you don't really need. So the first thing we're gonna do is ax the unnecessary libraries. Uh, so there's there's two, two common ways to read in. The common, the easiest, not the easiest, but like the way people usually start in is with this cn. Uh, and you can see sort of how that works there. Uh, but if we go back to the reference, there is, let's see, where is this? There's this better way to do it, which is scanf. So scanf is the same thing where you can do the flags with the percent %i versus percent %s, and there's a couple others that you can see here too. Uh, but basically how we're going to read this in is you can just do, uh, so let's declare a variable, let's say num, you can do scanf and then the type, so we'll say it's an integer. And the big thing you gotta remember is you have to pass this by its memory address, so that's what we use the ampersand for. So what this is gonna do is it's going to update the, the variable at the memory address for num, or just update num with whatever's, uh, whatever's put into the stdin. Uh, but we have to read three times, so we'll just do a, uh, For loop of this. And then we also need to sum them. So we'll say in sum, start it off at zero, sum plus equals num. So what that's going to do is it's going to read in, now oh, I've got to print it out. So we'll do the, remember the printf. And then percent i, we'll do a new line because it makes it prettier. Um, and then some, cool. And so, like you can see, we didn't need to do dot c string because it's just an in here. Uh, so what it's going to do is it's just going to loop over three times and read them in, sum it up, and then output the sum. Um, and then <laughs> another thing you can do. So I really hate magic numbers, which is like this three. Uh, some people will hate this sort of thing. But I like to define a macro for my magic numbers. So we'll just say numbers three. 
and then we can replace this with numbers. Um, and this is sort of just like people's opinions, but I prefer this because what this is going to do is at compile time, it's going to go in and it's going to change this numbers to three. Uh, so basically, after after the preprocessor runs, this just gets replaced with three. So it's the same thing anyway. But why this is nice is because it removes the magic numbers. Uh, so usually it's not good just to have like an arbitrary three, and this makes it just quicker uh, to, especially if you're using C, just to go and replace uh, replace all of the the magic numbers at once. Uh, so you can see we'll run it again, and we'll get the same result because it's it's the same thing. And there's actually there's one other way to solve this by not using a for loop. Uh, so if you get the leaderboards, it'll this will technically be the the way that they put it at the top. Um, and basically, what this is is they just see in all three of those, and they see out a plus b plus c. Um, you can see we can run it real quick. So what it's doing is it just reads them all in and then sums them. And like this, this technically works. Um, and I know it's the solution that Hacker Rank likes, but I don't like it just because it doesn't scale very well. Um, like yeah, it works when there's three, but like. Once you start to get to like six or seven, it's going to be a real pain to keep track of that. Um, and it's just like kind of ugly. Like I prefer a for loop just because, I don't know, I think it's just easier to read and easier to maintain. Uh, but this is also another solution.